Yo, it's done. What's up? Welcome to the vlog. It's about three o'clock. I don't know what the plan is today, but it looks like I'm home alone for a while. Is Chevy even serious with that thing? Oh my God, look at it. Boop, boop. Oh, it's hilarious. Anyways, welcome guys. Uh, it's 3.13 now. I'm on my way to the pool. I, I don't know that I like this schedule where I get up at noon and then do stuff and then go to the pool at 3, but that's what we're doing and it's hot. I figured out why I was sweating so much mowing. It's disgusting. Uh, it's 87 degrees. I, I didn't think it was supposed to be hot today, but it is apparently. So I'm going to go swim for a little bit, probably till around 5. No idea what's going on tonight. Gardeners are going on vacation tomorrow to Florida, so I'm going to miss them. But they'll be back, I'm sure. I hope they have a great time. Uh, and I'm sure they're gonna have better weather than here because it is still raining every day and it sucks. Friggin' right, it's taking the secondary spot. It's a little bit cloudy, but that's okay. It's still really hot, 88 according to the car. So I'm gonna head in. I don't know if it's crowded or not. I can't really see. We'll find out in a minute. Looks like this guy over here decided to park his uh, Ford GT500, I think that is, in, in the spot there. It's a good choice there, bud. Pool here probably isn't too bad. Actually combed it today. It is now 20 of five ish, and I'm gonna head up to uh, Panera and Hudson meet my grandfather. He feels like getting something to eat. She doesn't want to go, so I'm gonna go meet him. We'll get some grub. Don't know what's going on tonight. It's kind of milky, hazy out there, and nice over there. But the pool is nice. The water is excellent. There's an accurate TLS to the manual. Nah, never mind. Screw that. Boom, 89 degrees. I beat him here from the pool. Uh, I don't see him yet. Look at the, the road down there, it's all wet. Something's leaking. So I drove around in the other way and came in and got a perfect spot, perfect parking. Actually, let me, let me do this. I'll put it in reverse, see if that mirror tilts down. Check out my proximity, you hear the beeps now. So that tells you how close I am to the rear wall. And look at that. That is beautiful parking. I'm proud of myself. Oh yeah, look at that. It's chromed out and it's red. Freaking right. Just got uh, dinner. I guess it's dinner. Panera, most people don't consider a dinner place. But hey, if all you want is a sandwich or bowl of soup or a pastry, it's great. So we did that. Razvan came over, said hi. He's going to racquetball now till 7. And uh, then we're going to do something tonight. So I guess stay tuned. I'm still car hunting through town. Oh, and it pays off. Look at that. 190 SL. Holy crap. That is beautiful. We also have a Z3. Is it an M? Negative. Oh, I don't see where it went. I'm tempted to go around the block again. A 190 SL red convertible. If that's real, I don't really know anything about this. That could be really expensive. Or it could be averagely expensive for a Mercedes product. I don't know. But it was damn pretty. Oh, it's a package. That is Shea Carl's favorite word, and it's one of mine too. Guess who it's from? Mm, that's a good one. That smells amazing. That smells really good too. And fixing up the old supply of the Z6. Alrighty, shower is done. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, got the Zeno order, as you just saw. Two Z6s and a Z8 and a Z10. So yeah, check this out. They also changed, I have an eye for detail, I think. The bottle cap, it now matches the graphic. It's well done. As you can hear, there's very little left in there, maybe enough for a third of one seat. So I guess I'll keep that a little bit. But my uh, my car part shrine up here is about full. So I don't really know where all this C6 and whatnot's gonna go. So I've got like 2.65818 bottles of, of Z6 left and 1.453 bottles of Z8 left and a whole bunch of these. Every time I make an order, I get a new applicator pad. So I'm starting mount applicator pad over there and, and more, and that's good for wax, so I like that kind. Here's what got done earlier today. It's looking nice. He always has me cut high, though, in the summer, so it always looks like it needs to be mowed. Not my style, but it is his yard, and he is paying the bill, so I guess it's his decision. So the other day, I was messing around back here with my license plate lights. I don't think I'd film this. It wouldn't really matter, but... Oh, no. Bird shit. Well, I'll clean that in a minute. Um, see, I'm going to need a key for this, and you're going to get to see my rust spot that I have neglected fixing yet, this little thing right there. Um, 
One, look how dirty that is up there. It needs to be cleaned. There's a little bit of rust there. I talked to the guy, actually, who fixed the bubble in this fender over here. Did a great job, actually. It's really thick now. I don't feel anything coming back, so that's nice. Uh, but he says you can do this for around 300 bucks. So I'll get that out of the way before fall. And there's just a scratch that's been there forever. So I'll see if he can touch that up too. Uh, he, he's the guy who also fixed this corner. I don't know why I've had problems with this trunk lid, but I have. But that part's fixed. Anyways, notice this license plate light. Completely screwed. I was trying to remove it so I could figure out why it's hazy in there and I broke it. So I ordered two new ones. I actually bid on them on eBay and I won the auction for 15 bucks for LED lights that are supposed to be 6,000K. It'll look like a the newer style that they use. So I guess there's going to be an E39 source video about prying these out, which by the way, if they've been in there the entire life of the car, that's how you get them out. You essentially destroy them and then they kind of come out in pieces. So that's going to be the plan with that. That'll be on E39 source later. Anyways, I notice you probably won't hear it. Something is behind this plastic trim in here that's rattling. So I'm going to drop it down and figure it out. It's actually probably, when I replaced this badge, there's grommets in there on two pegs that keep it in the bodywork. And when I took, the, took it out, I broke one of them and it fell down in there. I got a Z6 that's covered in carbon. So I'll let you know what I find in there. That's what that looks like. Here's the piece of trim with the handle. Um, it's only two pop rivets, a cover and a screw, and then four more clips that go into the, the body of the trunk lid. And here's what I found in there. So this is what's been rattling around. It's this piece of kind of malleable plastic slash rubber with some body colored paint on it. No idea where it came from. It looks like some piece of weather stripping that is broken off. There's a build sticker. January 26th, 2000, I think, is how that would be read. There's a part number, made in Germany. There's my light that I had to replace. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. All right, good. So that won't be rattling around anymore because that's no more. Upon further inspection in the piece of trim that I'm about to put back up, I found another one of those things, although that appears to be stuck in there. So maybe there's one over here too for some reason. I don't see any benefit of having that in there. So it obviously breaks off and rattles around. So if it's loose, I'm gonna pry that thing out and get rid of it. Two seconds with the screwdriver and now they're both out. No more rattles. All right, we'll let that fester. Uh oh, no problem. Well, I just realized I forgot to film an end clip. It's 1.41 in the morning. I'm in bed editing this vlog. This is the end clip. Happy 4th of July. I'll talk to you tomorrow. We have some cool plans. I'll probably film it. Good night.